Hi class, I'm going to talk about memory boxes today. Awesome grief technique. Um, this one jumped out of me from the Niemeyer text um, as something that's creative, makes a lot of sense, and could be pretty easy to implement. Um, basically, what it is is creating a box or rather helping a client create a box where they can put in memories um, and special objects related to the deceased um, and have a lot of ownership in like creating the and decorating the box so that it's special and meaningful. Um, and aside from being a creative project, um, it also is, seems like a really effective grief technique because once you have that box, like it is a literal container for um, those thoughts and feelings and those can stay there or they can be like opened and closed, but the person grieving has a lot of control over where they want to keep that and when they want to access it. Um, so in order to, to make this happen, um, it would be best to get a lot of materials together. Um, you can get a bunch of boxes of different sizes. You can get glue, tape, scissors, um, markers, and basically any kind of arts and crafts things that you have available. Um, and Niemeyer recommends doing this over a longer period than an hour and giving a client enough time to really think about what would make it special. Um, if you're doing it over the course of two different sessions, you could prompt the client to go gather special objects, or if they don't have objects, ask them to make some drawings or write some notes um, that they want to keep in the box and they want to remember. Um, and then you can basically just help them make the box. Um, as a demonstration I made my own memory box for my deceased uncle. Um, and I chose to use a food container. Um, my uncle was a chef and I love remembering all the food he made for me and times we had cooking and um, enjoying food together. He would go out and shoot his own, um, shoot bison and like, some burgers kind of from scratch and he took us out on a hunt when I was a little kid. So, so we had to, had to draw a bison on there. Um, inside, I just found some photos, objects, um, and also decorated like the inside of the, of the lid, but had some fun doing that. And yeah, I, I liked the process. I liked the creativity of it. Um, and Nimai recommends that like as a provider that you, you also engage and make your own um, or have your own use as an example for a client. Um, but I think that this, this intervention, it like fits really well with the, the task of creating an ongoing relationship with the deceased and also like 
embarking on the new um, new part of life without them, just because you're able to celebrate them and choose what's meaningful and then um, put it in a box and put it away like literally and, and figuratively. Um, put it away, but like also you can come back to it. Um, so it makes a lot of sense. And I think expanding it from just like the context of seeing an individual client about grief, um, someone who's lost a loved one. I could see this being really appropriate to use um, with like a group of people. Um, I mean, it's a, it's a sad situation to imagine, but in like a school, if, you know, a classroom, if someone dies at a school, like the whole class could make a box together um, and write notes and make drawings and put them all in together. Um, or a family could make a memory box together. Um, yeah, or even with like non-death grief losses. Um, if a kid is moving houses um, and they wanna take things from their old house or they're like um, moving states, like gather notes from old friends, um, photos, that they could just like take all that and have it in one place. Um, could be effective. And I think it's important to, to remind folks that like the size of the box is not, you know, indicative of how much you care about the person. Um, it could be a really small, really cute box. Um, you could use a letter envelope. Um, you could change the box over time if your living situation um, changes. I think something that Meyer did not talk about, um, but could be applicable is the idea of just creating this like digitally. Um, I can definitely see how like having something physical and tangible uh, in the world that you can touch and add to and open and close is like important. Um, but times are changing and perhaps some folks would find it equally valuable to have like a, a digital place that is on the cloud or whatever that they know is not going anywhere and they can always access photos or documents or notes or things. Um, I think personally, I would lean way towards like having something physical, but um, just a thought and adaptation um, through the next gen of, of folks coming up. Um, yeah, I think that includes my thought about memory boxes. I hope you find it as exciting as I do and easy to implement. Thanks.